Here with uh, Harvey Unga. Harvey, let's start with uh, your basketball prowess. What many people don't know is that Harvey's a basketball player, and the BYU team went to the Basketball Hall of Fame yesterday. I heard you had a hard time getting you out of the gym. Um, possibly. Yeah, I, I'm not going to lie. I, I loved it. I, I, I ate it up. Basketball, that's that's uh, definitely one of my passions and something I love, and, and it was fun to just to see the history of basketball and, and to go through there and just really see a bunch of legends that I, I grew up watching, and, uh, yeah, I had a blast. It was fun. On paper, BYU is supposed to win this game, but you and I were just talking about the unique opportunity this is to be in Amherst, Massachusetts. So how do the Cougars use that to be mentally strong today? Um, the uh, Co Coach Grimes put it in, in a really good way. We... Um, we had a meeting with the offense, and he uh, he wanted to paint the picture um, as though we were, you know, we're, we're treating this like any other, you know, game that we play. It, it, but not just that, that um, we're treating these guys as though they're, you know, they're, they're a, a P5 team, and and um, we wanted these boys to really, although we were here and we got to see, you know, the basketball Hall of Fame and everything, it was fun. Um, we didn't want them to lose focus of what we were doing. And, and a lot of times you, there's a lot of distractions, but um, Coach Grimes painted a good picture and told them, like, hey, you know, if, if we were if we were to play a Penn State or if we were to play a Clemson or, or a team, you know, on the East Coast, um, we're, you, you're consistently thinking about that team regardless of whatever activities we have going on as a team, uh, wherever we are, mentally you're still preparing. And, and he told these guys, you masses, we're treating them no different from, you know, as if we were playing those types of teams. So um, he wanted them to, you know, although we, we were able to, you know, enjoy Amherst and, and Springfield and everything, um, they definitely dialed in. And, and you know, we, we know we're here for a game and we know that, you know, these guys are going to come out ready to play and we got to treat it the same way. Are you and A.J. Stewart have had your hands full this season, kind of balance on the running back situation. Sione Finau goes out, season-ending ACL injury this year. He joins Tyson Williams, Emmanuel Asupa is banged up. What can we expect from Lopini Katoa, Tyler Algier, and Jackson McChesney today? Um, consistency, the same thing, you know. The, um, Coach Stewart's done a phenomenal job. Uh, and these backs, they're, they're, it's a special group. And I've mentioned that in the past. You know, these guys uh, are definitely a special group of boys. Um, injuries, that you know, that, that happens. That's the name of the game. It, it's inevitable. Um, but fortunately, you know, we, we've been able to be blessed with a bunch of, you know, young men that um, really take in the coaching and prepare themselves. So whenever the next one's called up, we trust them. And, you know, like I said, uh, consistency, I think, is, is the one thing that, you know, Coach Stewart and I have uh, been preaching to these guys. And I think it's, you know, it's, it's, it shows these guys, uh, they step up to the plate and, you know, we don't we don't expect any less. Harvey, it's great to talk to you. And uh, let's go work on that jump shot after the game, huh? I'm down. Let's go. <laughs> Appreciate you. Guys.